Welcome to Notices, the 31st of October. We are one day closer to being out of our bubbles. As we move forward in this time of COVID, obviously lots of things have had to change. How we do life, who we have over for dinner. And one of the big changes is obviously how we gather around the building of 504 Blockhouse Bay Road. Now, normally today there would be people a scurry everywhere, moving pews and hiding lollies and the blow up inflatables going up because it would be the hair raising hat party. But because of COVID, we're still carrying on. It's now just called Hats Together at Home. So notice number one for today is if you are part of that fun, please, number one, come at the time that Mrs. Silby has emailed out to you so we can make sure that everything is contactless, that everything in every bubble stays safe. And number two, please come and join us at Zoom at five o'clock um, for all the fun and games that we're having here. Obviously, these things continue to be difficult for us. So please keep praying for one another please keep looking out for one another please keep texting and phone calling and walking past each other's houses if you can have a picnic whenever it happens to not be raining like whenever that happens um, keep thinking about who you can invite over and spend time with um, let's keep being god's gathered people we know that the traffic light system is going to come into play eventually we are looking at what it means to be God's gathered people at 504 Blockhouse Bay Road and all the implications of what that might look like and how it could look like and how it's going to be. We are seeking the wisdom from the Holy Spirit. We are seeking the wisdom from um, other churches in the Baptist Union who are putting out some recommendations and some guidelines and some thoughts. Uh, we are thinking about what it means to be God's gathered people again in the space of 504 Blockhouse Bay. So pray, ask God for wisdom as we seek to rejoin each other at the building in prayer and connection and challenge and in worship and in transformation. Uh, but till then, we are still God's people. We are still gathered around him, around his goodness, around his love. Um, we are people who walk and have breath because of the goodness of God and we are still living um, and working and walking out part of his kingdom come so let's celebrate those things let's celebrate the hair raising hat party even though it's at home let's celebrate being God's people even though we can't do it as we normally can let's celebrate the hope that is coming as we rejoin each other as we go because it's a real short notice <laughs> Let me pray for all of us and with all of those things in mind. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your gift of life. We thank you that even in lockdown on rainy days that we can still brew, breathe and have life and have movement and have sandwiches and have fun parties to look forward to. God, we thank you that you bring us the ultimate hope of life with you and a kingdom that you have remade and are remaking. May we find joy even on the greatest of days. May we find peace because of your presence with us. May we find hope and not as what is just to come, but is happening right now. May our eyes be open to how your spirit is moving and how your kingdom is coming. That we may be your people, even now when it seems that we are at loose threads. May we be your people. May we be your people in the way that we walk, in the way that we wait, and how we care for one another even at distance, in the conversations we have in coffee queues and in supermarket lines, over the fence with our neighbours. May we be your people. God who made every good thing be with us, we pray. Amen.